free and just impossible to hit. Man, he has no health. And all it takes is a couple of good Tosagekis to take him down. May, brutal offense, just keeps you blocking. Oh, interesting. The voices are in English. We're not actually going to hear any Tosagekis. We've not seen a whole lot of dolphins launched out yet. We have seen some Alpha Blades. Man, that's really throwing me for a loop. We got the overhead uh, counter for May. Good bloking. Purple cancel into a throw. Into the corner. Definitely not a fun place to be at all in this game. But extremely unfun when there's dolphins and beach balls coming your way. Purple from the kids. The air throw again out of J-Rock. Wanting to take it to grand finals here. Being losers finals, this will be a best of five. But again, a very fast game. Blink and you'll miss it. One counter, just needs another hit. Oh, light ice. Oh, they're both down so low. Next hit will take it. Oh, they're being so slippery with it. There's the anchor that gets the uh, round for J-Rock. Light Ice got his burst. J-Rock almost got his back. Thrown into the corner. And the burst as well. Offensive burst I'm seeing more and more as a... Uh, Guilty Gear is kind of evolved. Or maybe a little less kind of, wow, just supers everywhere, and it hits! Wow! Ready, set. That caught me off guard. I was not expecting that to connect. But it goes to show what I know. Lots of chin scratching going on. There is a deep thought going on on J-Rock's side here. Light Ice double checking the controls, making sure everything's all right. And not in a bad mood at all. We'll see what adjustments are made. I, I don't know how you can adjust against a super like that. That was the most May thing I've ever seen. May is the full send it character. And she's fully sending it. Dual one. Let's rock. All right, Chip getting a couple early hits, but nothing that turns into a huge combo. Burst forced out. Here, the combo's still rocking. And that health pool is just it's dropping so quickly. j Rock absolutely on the back of it. just here. Anchor, anchor, anchor. It's my good button, I'm hitting it. Rocking low now, there's the Totsugeki to get it out of the corner. Goes for a throw, doesn't connect, and that could and probably should be dead, but it isn't. Good counter hit with the anchor though, but it's not gonna be enough to take the round. Nice little toe kicks. Kick him in the feet, that's how you break him. Light Eyes still hanging on to his burst. He's spinning. J Rock throwing out these big old anchors. Following up with the dolphin charge. Okay. The up charge, the closest thing May has to a flash kick. And the light ice is quite low on health, but again, it strives. Both of these health bars are deceptively large in the first place. Nice full combo. It doesn't wall splat him out, though. A little bit of spaghetti on the floor there for Light Ice. J-Rock takes a round where he's basically dead. Anchors just to the face. Light Ice goes over the top. He's trying to keep his distance, he doesn't want to play this game of anchors and dolphins, but he's not going to get any damage if he doesn't do that. 
starting to get his offense going here. Flawless defense, though. They're playing so carefully, very footsies, very tiptoey. They're fencing, but into the corner we go, not a fun place to be. I know I say that line too often, but it's true. And now he's dead. J-Rock with the 2-0 lead. J-Rock looking for the quick closeout here, seeing if it can be 3-0. Light Ice going on through, though. Starting to get his ship vortex rocking. But the throw gets tech. Not deterring him, though. First already popped. Sends him straight through the wall. One hit ought to do it. Chip's got that positive. Having to defend, though, and there's a nice little toe to get the combo. Good lord, the damage! But May, perhaps a little bit greedy, goes for the throw. Gets taken out. Throws are always a game of, is this greedy? And you see a lot of them in Strive. But May, in particular, is a brutal thrower. And once again, it's Vortex o'clock. May is not able to get out of all that. Splatted. Still no burst as well. Light Eye still sitting on his. I couldn't tell it. My eyes made to see me. I thought that was an attempt to throw. Here's the reversal, though. Enormous damage off that and the counter. No follow up. You can only do the dolphin thing so much. We've been seeing it since day one. Oh, the Roman can't. Or no, that was a burst that missed. Go be a ninja. White Eyes shaking his head. Go be a ninja. You dares to chip inside of White Eyes warming the hands back up. J-Rock considering what went wrong in that one. Once Chip gets the offense rolling, it's just a brutal place to be. Is he, might be looking at a potential character switch even. We're picking a stage, maybe picking some music. Anything to give yourself the mental recovery and the upper edge. May. Going back to May. Sometimes it's good, even if you don't plan on changing your character, to just take it back to character select, use your time, get the mental reset, and kind of stop the momentum. Because if you keep just hitting the rematch button when you're getting Vortex like that, you can still find yourself in a bad momentum spot and get Vortex to death anyway. We're green now. Nice minty color. A change in flavor is not going to stop Light Ice's offense. Just forcing all the blocking. There's the burst from J-Rock, and it's got to charge back up. No high-flying Totsugekis out of this. They're already quite low. And seems like Light Ice finally uh, got the download complete. That's the first round gone. And have opted to switch songs. We got Smell of the Game, the title track, Guilty Gear Strive. Absolute banger. Whole game is full of great music. Is this match full of great offense? May hey, getting the good counter hits. And it seems like everything J-Rock has done has worked except the Dolphins. Maybe people are just far too used to them due to uh, over-spam both online and at locals. Good throw. Uses the charge to catch up. And just keeping those overheads really frustrating to deal with. YRC goes behind. Light Eyes. J-Rock is just throwing out every button in the world. All is only one necessary. I say only one. There was one. One more. One more for good measure. Burst. Ooh. Really rough place to be, but manages to get that punch that's going to seal the deal. 
All right. J-Rock, again, set point here. Take it. Light Ice can send it to you, too, with just around as well. Light Ice still hanging on to his burst and rapidly on the way to enough meter for a Roman cancel or a super. And they're just, this is just a game of buttons. And technically, all video games are games of buttons. In this particular one, they're just throwing out the attacks and forcing each other to uh, eat certain hitboxes. J-Rock, no health left, doesn't have the burst. Gets the throw, though. Not a whole lot of tension. Doesn't have enough to keep the combo going. There's the burst out finally from Light Ice. Oh, almost there, and this could be it. Light Ice taking it to 2-2. Go be a ninja. He wants to keep it rocking. Duel one. And they have just rematched straight into this one. This is our game five for the losers finals. First already gone for J-Rock. Already thrown onto the next screen here. Light Ice is keeping this offense rolling. Spinning, alpha blading from that. The, the reversals are so good out of J-Rock. Whenever he has the meter, he can get it done. The problem is he's got to have the meter. And now, Light Ice for the first time on set point. Eager for the rematch. The grand finalist match we've seen multiple times before. J-Rock still looking to run spoiler, but it's going to take two rounds versus the only one that Light Ice needs. Damage is stacking up really quickly. Once again, drops off the wall, which honestly could be a good thing. I don't think J-Rock was expecting it. Now having to block on either side, and that's dead. Going ahead and disconnecting the troller. GG is called. That didn't even kill much time. Light Ice moving on to grand finals. With Dory on the way. We are just about ready, ladies and gentlemen, to wrap up for the evening. We have one event left, and that is our Guilty Gear Strive Grand Finals. I'd like to thank you once again for sitting with me all this time on BG Bootcamp 3. I'm Strawberry, your designated pop monster. You will